What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Girl Mouth. I am coming to y'all today with Fertilizer Fridays. I should have sang my song, but no, I won't do it. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. Okay, I'm just playing. Okay, y'all. Y'all already know what time it is. I am coming to you guys to grease my scalp with y'all. I hope y'all got y'all version of Half Fertilizer ready. Hopefully today this video will come up in a, a decent amount of time. I'm going to try to get it up tonight at least by uh, it is right now. It is 4 o'clock. So hopefully this video will be up by 6 or 7. God, I don't want it to be too late. Um, I, I want to do my videos in the morning but y'all, unfortunately, I have Nivea, y'all. And I cannot she woke all day. I can't get my videos up in the daytime. It's just, it's real hard right now. So until she leaves, we just gonna be in the evening, okay? Because she won't let me be great. She really won't. So, um, y'all already know if y'all watched my video yesterday, we I showed y'all how to depot the virgin hair fertilizer and what I do to get it in this uh, container, my other container. So this is what I, this is what the um the grease from yesterday looked like when I depotted it. This is that same one. It done got hard now. It, you know, it solidified and all of that good stuff. And that's what it, that's what it looked like. I just wanted y'all to see that. So I'm not going to be using that one because as y'all know, I still got some in this container right here. And I got a little bit left, child. I probably got two or three more greases up in there, girl. Okay, so I'm going to be using that. And plus, y'all know if y'all watched my video yesterday, them two, um, that two that I cut open, yeah, I still got that too. I'm going to be using that too if I can. I wish I had like a popsicle stick. That's what I need. I need a popsicle stick. That's what I need, y'all. Well, I don't got no popsicle stick, so I'm going to see if I can find could use a butter knife, but I don't know. I'm, I need my butter knife to eat with. I'll just put my finger down in there. Yeah, I'll just put my finger down there. Because this ain't, this ain't sharp, y'all. It ain't sharp. It just uh, look like it is. Because this is like aluminum foil, but a little bit stronger. I mean, maybe if you cut it a certain way, it might cut you. But I ain't going to cut myself. I'm just going to put my finger down in there. I wish I could get it all out. And we're going to start with this little bit right here. Okay, y'all. How y'all doing out there today? How is y'all doing? Like, for real, for real. I Honestly, today, I, I woke up this morning and I didn't feel good. I had a real bad sore throat and I had a headache. And I felt like that until, like... Man, probably about 1 o'clock. It was about 1 o'clock. Then I took me some headache medicine. And then, like, within an hour, I started feeling better. I was I was trying not to take any medicine. I was just trying to let my headache wear off naturally. But it didn't do it. It didn't do it. So I was pretty much suffering with through pain. But thank the Lord, I feel all right now, y'all. My throat's still a little sore. And that's because when I went to sleep last night, I have the fan wide open. And, child, you know, I'd be like... <sighs> sleep <laughs> so the fan you know the air get down my throat girl that don't drive me out and i'm sure i would just mm. listen yeah so my throat was all stuffy and yeah I, i'm all right now y'all i'm all right i'm all right i still got a soul throat though but i just put some soul throat spray um medicine in there and um listen i, I appreciate y'all for showing love yesterday on my videos thank you guys for all your support all your comments and all that good stuff um, um i'm gonna read off a couple of names because i'm looking at it right now mary daniels thank you so much for your support i really appreciate you honey i really appreciate you Janelle. you already know what time it is girl you my girl i love you thank you for coming on all my videos girl katina um thank you so much thank you thank you thank you and um um, let me name a K baby and Tina Jackson, Tracy King, Vanessa Harris, Adrian Holmes, and Donna Pelham, Kanaya Norris. Thank you guys so much for coming on yesterday's video or last night's video, whatever, whichever one you want to call it. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, so we just gonna get right on into this. I ain't gonna be able to get it all. See, if you ever cut your virgin hair fertilizer jaw open, I'm, I'm gonna suggest you get some popsicle sticks. I mean, you could use your butter knife, but I don't wanna put my butter knife in there and then eat off it again. It ain't gonna happen. Unless you got a plastic butter knife or something like that, then go ahead. But I don't got no plastic butter knife. See, that's a lot of products I'm getting out of there, girl. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh, I'm gonna put it in this jar too, because that's a lot. So, oh. yeah, so, um, uh, I've been having a good day ever since I started feeling better because I'm like, Lord, no, I am not. And then, for some reason, 
I went out the door today and well I know I went out the door today so I can get Nivea tired I wasn't feeling good so I pushed myself to go outside and I went outside today and um we have a neighborhood uh Everybody got, if you live in the hood, everybody got this one dude in the neighborhood who, who work. One crackhead, I hate to say it, but that's, it is what it is. Y'all got this neighborhood crackhead who's a good person, who fix on everybody's stuff, who wash all y'all cars, who cut all y'all grass, and he a good dude, don't steal, or whatever. We got that type of dude that's around right here. Okay, um, so he came up when me and Nivea was out the door um, playing. I was trying to get her to play so she can take a nap time. I was trying to get a task so she can go to sleep so I can do this video, y'all. So, um, you know, I had told him that I didn't feel good, and, uh, he already know my situation or whatever. He said, well, there's been a lot of times that I didn't feel good and I just kept on going. Don't don't let nothing get you down. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm really letting this crackhead man tell me. I, no, I can't say that because that's disrespectful because I, he's a good dude. But he, he is a crackhead. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say if you don't live in the ghetto, okay? Well, I don't live in the ghetto. I mean, I just live in this neighborhood that, you know, whatever. Anyway, long story short, um... He, he uplifted me, y'all, in a weird way. You know, like, who? Really? You? But, you know, he did. He he, he, he gave me motivation without without giving me motivation. You know, he didn't do it on purpose. He don't even know he uplifted me to make me get up and keep moving. Because he told me when he's sick, he just, he won't, when he feel good, I keep on moving. And I was like, oh, okay. So, I felt better after that. Even though it wasn't even a little pep talk, he just came over and started talking. You know how some random person, you know, they just walk up in your yard and start talking. That's how he do. Because he knows everybody and he get along with everybody. So, and... That's just, you know, I, I was fortunate for him today because um, he motivated me, y'all, and I'm, I'm glad of that. And now ever since then, I've been feeling better because I got my mind set right. You know, sometimes you start feeling some type of way. You start not feeling good, then your mind just be like, man, I don't feel good. I'm finna lay down all day and just whine. I'm just finna whine all day. But I'm glad I did get the strength and the courage, uh, the courage, yeah, the strength up to walk outside and, and give Nivea some playtime so she can go to take her nap. And, you know, fortunately, he walked up and, you know, we talked. So I feel better. Thank God, I feel better. You know, sometimes you, you never know who's around to uplift you. You just never know. So I always treat people with kindness. I'm sorry for calling him a crackhead, but um, truth be told, that's what it is, okay? So, um, y'all, I done already started greasing my scalp. I hope y'all greasing y'all scalp too. Um, I had asked you guys yesterday on um, what y'all wanted to discuss today with the Fertilizer Fridays, and somebody commented and said R. Kelly, and I'm like, R. Kelly, come on, of all, oh, of all subjects, of all topics, so I guess he is a trending topic or whatever, but, you know, I ain't really want to talk about it, because it's so many mixed emotions or whatever, mixed feelings towards this uh, subject of R. Kelly and whatever or what's not. So I didn't really look into the whole R. Kelly thing. I just like didn't want to know about it because I was not a fan of, you know, all of that what was going on because I have two children. Two, I have four children, but I have two daughters. Two daughters and then both of those daughters got a daughter. Two granddaughters. So, listen, I was feeling some type of way about that. And then at the same time, as far as the parents of those daughters, those girls he was with, like, they need their blood kicked, too. Because, from what I was hearing, I didn't really look in depth into the R. Kelly situation. I just, what I did was I went to, um, one, I forgot who YouTube channel, and it was like an R. Kelly song. And I was reading the words, and he was saying, you know, what happened. And he was like, the parents, um, like, pretty much pushed their daughter in his face. And, you know, a lot of people was like, well, that don't, that don't justify the fact that he you know, raped them or whatever, he, he had sex with them because the parents pushed them in their face because they wanted money in, in hopes that it would give them, you know, some fame, some money or whatever. But I, I, that's, woohoo! I mean, and then, also, no, that does not justify uh, what he did, honey. Uh, but also, at the same time, you hear R. Kelly say, before he said all of that, that he was dyslexic. He couldn't read all the uh, the contracts that he was signing. He, he didn't understand them. And also that he didn't graduate. I think he said he didn't graduate. And he also could not read. Um, so... 
that lets me know right there as a grown man you can't read by now even with all the money you ain't paid nobody to teach you how to read or you ain't nobody tell you to go to school that uh you can't be wrapped too tight i mean in the head if you can't really comprehend by that age as a grown-up, I'm talking about 30, 40, um, you developmentally delayed. <laughs> I mean, you might have a gift from God as far as you're saying, but there's something else wrong with you mentally if you have not learned to read and write yet. I mean, uh, but I don't know how, how true that is because he wrote them songs, so how he can't read. So I don't know, y'all. So, but anyways, I said that to say this. Um... If R. Kelly's mind wasn't there with those girls, wasn't on a grown-up level, kind of like Michael Jackson, because not Michael Jackson, and you know, kind of like a Michael Jackson level, maybe I don't know, but um, why would you? Why would anybody? Well, his no, his mind had to be on that level because he thought it was okay. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm gonna write that. He thought it was okay just because the parents pushed the kids on him. To go ahead and have sex with them, you know, but at the same time, his brain wasn't developed enough to understand that that was wrong. I guess uh, apparently he didn't know that was wrong and he did it anyway. So that tells me right there he couldn't comprehend very well if he couldn't read and write and all that stuff that he claimed. Um, but at the same time, who in the hell, who in the hell as a mama? Um, gonna push their daughter up on a grown man for some money. You done sold your child to this grown man because you want a couple of dollars? Come on, man. What the hell wrong with y'all? I don't care how broke I am. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to sell my daughter to a man, a grown man, a child, or nobody. We just gonna be some broke people and we just ain't gonna have no food. Now, um... Or uh, no fame or whatever they was trying to get out of this man, y'all. I hope y'all greasing y'all scats with me. And at the same time, if you're grieving, greasing, um, make sure you massage it in too. At the same time, just to get a little, a little stimulation in there, y'all. So, um, y'all see my look. It's time for it to come loose, y'all. Whatever. My hair just been doing the most. I'm so glad I feel better, y'all, because I was feeling, I was in the bed like I couldn't even watch Nivea. Ooh, I thank God for, for, for relief. Um. And I thank God that I was able to push myself and not become all the way down because. Whew. But anyways, y'all, Aura Kelly. Um, am I on his side? No, no, ma'am. I'm not on his side. Even if the little girls was um pushed to him, sleep with him by their parents or whatever, it still wasn't right. You know, two wrongs don't make a right. So that that that's just a crazy topic in itself y'all i can't i'm not defending him will i listen to his music again i mean i didn't listen to his music in the first place now i didn't heard pretty much all his songs but right now in 2019 2006 the last couple of years i haven't listened to r kelly he hasn't been trending the last song i really remember him like doing a real good job and i love the song is um when a woman's when a woman's love or something like that and he was like surrounded by all those microphones when a woman loves or something yeah i think that was it and he sung his butt off in that song like he really <laughs> he sung his butt off now i love that song when he was around all those microphones now now i haven't heard it since years ago but i mean all of his music Will play and bump and grind and all of that. I mean, there was some, there was some fast songs back in the day. Now, when I listen to them now, if I heard them now, um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be thinking, like, I'm gonna be thinking, like, uh, what was on his mind. I'm gonna be trying in my mind why he's singing the words in those songs. I'm gonna be thinking, like, what was he thinking about? Like, was he thinking about young girls then? Because it just it just changed my train of thought, you know. But at the same time, it's people defending him, saying that he might be being blackmailed. He be being Bill Cosby. Hey, I don't know how true that is, but if these allegations against him are true, why he ain't been in jail? That's what I want to know. If people claiming he did this, this, and that, why hasn't anybody put him in jail? Because he paid people off. I mean, if it's a crime, it's a crime. If you're 14 years old and you you he had sex with you or sexually assaulted you why he didn't go to jail like back in the day why he didn't go to jail for so-called peeing on the girl once she supposed to be under age two that was a big i remember that being a big issue why didn't he go to jail i just want to know that
Because, like, if somebody would have did that around here in the, in the neighborhood or somewhere you know, and they raped a the girl and peed on her, they would have been in jail. Why R. Kelly didn't go? He got enough money to pay the police? Is that why? I don't... You know, it's a lot of things that you kind of question, you know, like, what, what, why? Why didn't you go to jail back then? And, and then, at the same time, how did he marry Aaliyah without parental consent? Because if you marry somebody that's underage, you have to have their mama and their daddy sign for it. They parent got to say, okay, my child can marry this overage, grown up or whatever. So, he can't just marry her because he want to marry her. Ain't nobody got that much money to be, you can't, that's because that's against the law. It take the judge and all of them people to sign those and have you sign those papers and stuff. But that's why I'm like, how, how he get away with all this and not go to jail? Because the parents okay with it? Okay, I, I understand if the parents okay with it, but what about the police? What about the police? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What about them? And then now all of a sudden they just want to put all this on him at once when they've been said he was um, messing with Aaliyah and stuff. But apparently Aaliyah married him. Ah, look, it's all a bunch of confusion to me, honey. It's too much for me to, um, it's too much for me to, um, sink into my head, Gary, because he, he got too much going on. I don't agree with nothing that's going on, honey. Listen, it's time for me to take my halos, y'all, so I know y'all see my struggle braids going on. I had a big old box. I'm trying to get, I'm tired of these. <laughs> oh, look, y'all, um, I'm turning around and let y'all see the back. Yeah, they down, so. I am going to just go ahead and grease the bottom of my hair here get all of that in there but yeah at the end of the day his song was like he admit he admit he did it he did it he did it i mean he he also confessed that he he didn't deny sleeping with underage girls he what he did say is their parents pushed him on him so, if you push your daughter on somebody who's not mentally stable, what you expect? You expect them to say, oh, no, that's not right. He don't know that's not right because if he knew that was, if he didn't know that was not right, he wouldn't have messed with him. If his, if his level of maturity and knowledge of knowing things like messing with underage girls is wrong, I don't think he would have ever messed with him. But his mental state is what kept is what made him do it because he's not you know he he ain't in that mind bracket like he's supposed to be his he his his uh physical age might be oh, one thing but intelligent wise he might be a teenager you feel me he might be uh, having a mental developmental problem developmentally delayed and all of that good stuff he might be in that category and people that's in that category, they don't know no better. I'm not trying to take up for them, but ain't no way in the world I would have took my daughter to him. That's, that's all I got to say. No way. That won't justify nothing he did. I don't like nothing he did. I don't agree with nothing he did. Nothing. I don't agree with what the parents did. It's like, it's like at this point now, it's like everybody's fault. But now I feel like since they didn't get money out of it, they want to be like, oh, he did this to my daughter. He did this to my daughter because they didn't get money. I really believe that. But at the same time, that's still no excuse for him doing what he did. That's how I feel about it. Well, I listen to this music today. I heard it come on the radio. I don't have no desire to just turn on R. Kelly and listen to it. Because right now, if I did turn on R. Kelly and listen to it, I'm massaging my scalp, y'all. I hope y'all at the point where y'all massaging y'all scalp. But either way, if I did turn on R. Kelly and listen to it, I promise you... All them, all these allegations and things with young girls is gonna be going through my mind, wondering if he's saying about them. You know, just gonna, I might feel a little creeped out. You know, I don't know. It's like, cause twelve play was like the jam back then. Like, is he? It make you wonder. Like, is he talking about what he was doing in his song to young people? Like, cause it's just like it's creepy now to just think about it. Because even though I haven't heard his song in years, y'all, y'all know I know it word for word now. 
we all probably knew it word for word. If you my age and you came up in the R. Kelly era and all of that stuff, you probably know his songs word for word for word. You hear me? Because this his songs was lit, all of them. Um, so, but now, if I was to say I'd probably sing one of his songs, like, is you talking about young girls? Because I got two daughters. I don't agree with that. My daughter's grown now, but when they was younger, oh no. Oh no, ma'am. No, sir. Hell wrong with you. The heck wrong with you. So, oh, praise the Lord. Rubbing this fertilizer in my scalp, y'all. Y'all, my hair is all kind of jacked up, all kind of ways, but it is what it is, and I'm getting ready to take it out, so I really don't care about. Uh, having it stay too much longer. I'm gonna plait this here up, and we just gonna go ahead and I probably have my hair for about two more days, if that. Cause it's time for it to come out. I get my hair done next Friday, y'all. I still don't know what I get done to yet. My appointment might be canceled because uh, I might change my hair do up and what I want my style. I don't know what I want no more. I want to updo. I do want to updo. But, child, I don't know. Y'all, we're going to have another story time when I, um, probably about me. For my next Fertilizer Friday. Y'all leave me some ideas. Anything y'all want to talk about in Fertilizer Friday. For next week, y'all, leave me some ideas, some tips, some pointers, some, some topics, okay? Did I get it all out of here? I still didn't get it all out of here. I think I got some popsicle sticks in my craft section. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go in there with my popsicle sticks. And put the rest of it in my jar. Y'all see how much I use. I still got some left for the next. I don't know if I got none for the next for like Friday. Or maybe, maybe on Tuesday when we come back to um, Grease and Gossip, y'all. Give me some topics for Grease and Gossip on Tuesday when I come back and grease my scalp again, y'all. Thank you so much, Adrian Holmes, for that idea. You the only one that left me an idea, I believe, for um, what we're going to discuss today. So thank you for that. Appreciate you. Shout out to Adrian for um, ooh, all this. Look at this. The wet wipe won't let me be great. Next time I'm going to get a wet rag. I'm going to have me a, a hot wet rag so I can, so I will have like wet white dust coming down here. Yeah, okay, y'all. Do I need to do my edges? <sighs> I'll probably go ahead and do my edges since I'm here. Since I'm here, I'm going to do my edges. And they gray again, y'all. The gray hair is not letting me be great. Let me pull it up so y'all can see my gray. Okay. See the gray? Gray hair is in his eyes. Um... In real time, it is like four o'clock. Somebody asked me where I got this spray from. I got it from Amazon. The reason why I didn't link it is because I didn't, I did not know how to, I didn't review it yet because I didn't know how to feel about it. Because actually that first time you saw me spray it in my hair was like the first time that I had sprayed it in my hair. So I was hoping that, you know, I didn't do an, an official review on it. So, I'm going to put this here. Y'all, guess what? Guess who not cooking tonight, y'all? Me. And, listen, you guys. Please, please, please go subscribe to my other channel. It's going to be another another mukbang channel. Um, Well, it, some of y'all already subscribed to it. But for the ones who's not subscribed to my mukbang channel, please. It's going to be mukbangs. It's going to be anything that I got to do food related. Because I'm trying to separate my channel, y'all. I, I attempted to be on that channel before and do vlogs. But that was unsuccessful because I gave up and I quit. But this time, I'm not going to quit. We're going to do anything food related from challenges. If I can find some challenges to do by myself. If I can get somebody to do challenges with me, child, we're going to do that. Now, hopefully, in the future, I can get me some collabs. I want to collab with some of the other YouTubers who be doing mukbang and stuff you know i support them i love their videos i watch all their videos so hopefully one day they can support me and do the same so and you know i'm trying i've been i've been doing this youtube thing for a long time now i think i deserve something <laughs> i deserve something everybody blowing up overnight but me i ain't trying to blow up but i just want to be you know a little bit better than what i am because right now i'm i kind of suck like for real and i didn't used to always suck it just kind of sucks that i suck but it's okay somebody told me if one day it's gonna be my time just shut up and, and ride let the uh roll with it so i'm gonna shut up and roll with it all right 
and I'm trying to do something to these little ratchet things. It ain't much, y'all, but um, I try. See, my that gel mixed with the oil, it makes it white, but it's all good because um. I'm going to tie it up and the white fades away, y'all. Trust me. Okay, that's all I'm going to do to my edges. Comb these little eyebrows down a little bit, child. Who she thinks she is, girl? Put my eyebrows everywhere. Okay, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. Look, I see that gray here, y'all. Nah, that's not gray. That's gel. Okay, so this jet, this black spray is pretty decent. But I will give y'all a thorough review on it later on. Once I, once I use it a couple times, I don't want to just use it two times and be like, go get it. So I am just going to wrap my hair with my scarf. Shout out to Shima Girl for this scarf. Even though it's too small for my big old head. It's too small. But... I, always, I like to tie my hair down because of the way it's braided and I try to get, it, it helps me like get the fuzz down, but my scarf always be, my, my scarf always come off. I like it though. It always come off in the middle of the night, but that's why I put my bonnet on for double protection. My bonnet does not come off in the middle of the night. If you guys have not purchased a bonnet from me, then you're missing out, honey. You're missing out, honey. You is missing out. Okay. So that's how I like to cover this style with a scarf and a bonnet, y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all. This is it for my hairstyle. I think I got like a few more of these bonnets left. If you want to check my website, goldencreations.webs.com. I think I got like three or four more bonnets left like this. And once these are gone, these are gone. I don't think I can get them back. I don't think so. Well, they've been selling like hotcakes, like for real, for real. But anyways, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Adrian, for leaving me a uh, discussion topic. I really appreciate that. Um, and that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye. one because my bonnets hold in the smell of this very hair fertilizer. I mean you're gonna feel your hair tingling regardless because it's on your scalp but to, to get it off your pillows and stuff and y'all know what I forgot it again lady ma'am I did not moisturize my hair before that's it's all good though it's all good in the neighborhood I didn't moisturize my hair before I put this virgin hair fertilizer on it's all good. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Should I do it still? Yeah, I should still do it. I ain't worried about it because I moisturize my hair all the time anyway because I sprayed some on it this morning. So my hair moisturized, moisture wise is good. So I'm getting ready to take these out anyway. All right, y'all. Let me go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and. Woo, I'm going to see y'all next week. Well, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I, I don't know when I'll post the next video, but as far as the grease in my scalp wise, I'm going to see y'all Tuesday. Leave me some topics below for uh, what we call it. Grease and gossip for Tuesday. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.